Hi folks, this is Spishak Sorbet with PNP, and we're going to show you a couple of awesome tips on how to uh, use Liquify, how to put um, shadows and lighting, and we're going to do a little color filtering. Um, so let's get started. We're going to first take off the pointy parts of our avatar with liquify. Uh, we're going to use turbulence tool and here's your brush sizes over here. Um, you want to just basically press down and push into the avatar and it's going to just clear up all those pointy areas with not a lot of time involved. As you can see, you know, I'm already finished you know you can add a little extra if you want or the more time you spend on it the more definition you can put in it so there's the liquify tool use that um, another thing that we want to do is when we have our avatar all nice and fixed up and awesome looking we want to uh, copy our merged and um, go find a background so um, I have a background all set up for us and we're going to try to add this guy into this picture. Now, you know, it's sort of a grungy picture, and he looks pretty grungy to me, too. So it fits for me. Um, all right, our next step is we're going to add a new layer, and we're going to create a clipping mask. Now, you may not have that ability when you right click this layer, it may not say create clipping mask but somewhere in your Photoshop depending on what version it is somewhere so go find it it is your best friend um, for shadows we want to use soft light with a black uh, color and a brush a soft round brush that's the it's sort of a fuzzy looking brush um, and we're just going to kind of skirt around with a 48 percent uh, opacity on our brush over here 48 percent so we're just going to go ahead and skirt around this guy so don't put your um, cursor directly on it you want to just kind of use the edge of the soft brush um, and you're going to get kind of a, a nice little shadow effect there uh, and then we're going to kind of add a uh, another clipping mask on top of our guy here. And um, we're going to use overlay with white. And that's going to create lighting. And we're just going to use the same brush and we're going to swipe it right over the top of this dude. And we're just going to kind of lighten him up a little bit. And he's going to look cool. Alright, so we got a cool avatar but man that background is just really showing up now because it's it's sort of second life-ish and man it just doesn't belong anymore alright well we can do the same thing here we're gonna add a uh, a layer of uh, soft light here and we're going to uh, make uh, let's see a rainbow shape how's that rainbow awesome rainbow Woo! so once you have your rainbow okay you're gonna wanna put your brush to a hundred percent and you're gonna make your brush a lot bigger and we're just gonna totally darken the area like no tomorrow so we have pretty much taken care of the lighting. This guy is popping out of the picture like he is definitely supposed to be there. And the focus is on him, and that's what you want. So we've pretty much made an awesome picture so far. Now, to add a little extra, we're going to um, add a new layer, and we're going to just turn this to color and we're going to grab our paint bucket. Now, this is the fun stuff. 
uh, for sepia, you want brown. Ta-da, sepia. Uh, for black and white, you want black. Ta-da, black and white. Now, for me, I kind of like a half and half. I like a little color, but I don't like all the color because, man, I don't know what skin makers have against us, but man, whew, they make us look like Oompa Loompas. So, we're just going to add maybe a 67% on that. Uh, and this looks a lot more professional. It looks like, man, that's photo quality right there. Um, you can add um, sort of a blue tint. Uh, or... Um, yeah, there's your brown. Okay, so and you can play with your uh, opacity a little bit. So, you know, I hope this helps, guys. Um, please contact me if you enjoyed this. Special Axe to Obey. Um, in world. So, you know, let me know how this helped you out. Or, you know, send me a picture of, you know, what you've done with this knowledge. Uh, thank you again for watching this tutorial and I hope this helps you uh, some way so enjoy guys and take care